Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to input notes, accidentals, slurs, and basic articulations in Steinberg's new music notation software, Dorico. I've opened a new project for piano, and I want to start note input, so all I have to do is double click at the beginning of this bar, or I could select the bar rest and press enter. Now that the input carrot is showing, I select the note duration first by clicking on one of the buttons in the notes palette here. Or I can use the number keys along the top of my computer keyboard. In Dorico, a quarter note or crotchet is the number six, and the longer notes are higher numbers, so seven for a half note, eight for a whole note, and nine for a double whole note. And it might not surprise you that the shorter notes are the lower numbers, so five for an eighth note, four for a sixteenth note, and so on, down to one for a 128th note. And if you click at either end of this note palette, then you get to see the whole range of note durations that Dorico has on offer. So let's enter some notes. I'd like to start with a quarter note, so I'm going to use the key command 6, and the letters A to G on my computer keyboard correspond to the note pitches, so I'll press C to get my quarter note C. Next I'd like an eighth note, so I'm going to press the 5 key, followed by C again. And now I need a dotted quarter note. So I'll press 6, and then I'll come up to this dotted note button, or I can use the key command period or full stop. I'll press F to get my dotted quarter note. Incidentally, if I wanted to force the direction of the interval, then I could hold down Ctrl and Alt on Windows while I press the note name and that would be just control on Mac, and that will input the note lower than the previous one. And I can hold down Shift and Alt, that's the same on both Windows and Mac, to force the next note higher. Accidentals are input by either using the buttons on the panel, or by using the last three buttons in the number row on the keyboard. That's zero for natural, minus for flat, and equals for sharp. So I'm going to enter a sharp by pressing the equals button and then pressing my note name. And pressing zero will make a natural, and so on. To input a slur while typing, then click this button, or press the key command S. And the slur will extend as I type more notes, up until the point that I press the key command Shift S. Articulations are input by using the buttons at the bottom of the panel, or by using the four keys found to the left of the Enter key. Holding down Shift with those keys gives you access to the other four articulations. So for example, I could use the left square bracket key and enter an accent, or I could use the right square bracket key to enter staccato. I'm going to press Escape, and that leaves note input. You can also add accidentals, slurs, and articulations outside of note input by making a selection and then using the same buttons and key commands. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.